Joining us right now, we like to have uh, folks on who are in the uh, the business of spirits uh, locally and statewide. And uh, joining me in studio right now, uh, one of the owners of Real Booze Vodka uh, is uh, Patrick Curry. Patrick, welcome. Thank you, sir. Good to be here. Well, thanks for coming in. Uh, vodka is what we're talking about today on the show and a lot of people like vodka like mixing it up and uh, or drinking it straight mm -hmm. and what was it that for you being here in Lubbock Texas you decided I, I want to go into the vodka business well you know it's kind of a funny thing my workout partner he and I we uh, have gotten together and worked out for uh, several years and primarily the way uh, I've talked to my friends about getting into shape or relieving the daily stress is by way of the gym and, uh, of course, clearly there's other benefits as a result of that, but just to help free your mind and just relax. And another good way that a lot of other people like to do it is, you know, either go out to the park, do other various forms of exercise, or even just sit at home watching TV and sometimes go to the bar and have a cocktail. Right. And, you know, for the most part, uh, even medical experts will say two ounces of uh, alcohol will help out the, uh, the, the low cholesterol uh, will help uh, longevity. And kind of using that as uh, one idea, that the idea of uh, so many people enjoy a good cocktail, that one other way of relieving stress is by having a sip at night or whatever of their favorite drink. And we just chose vodka primarily because it is so easy to work with. You can mix it in, uh, in a number of different recipes compared to many of the other spirits out there that you, you're kind of limited. Mm -hmm. So that's, what, that's kind of what got us into it. And we wanted something – we decided to do uh, something like this and promote it as local, which is what it is, yeah. and have Lubbock embrace it. Yeah. And uh, what, what is it when, when you were going through the process of mm -hmm. coming up with the best – you know, taste in your mind. Mm -hmm. How did you go through that process? You know, how did you, because I'm sure you sampled yes, and, and you went, okay, we like, you know, we, we like a little bit of this. We like a little bit of that. What's that process like? You know, it's quite simple. I mean, we just sat down over dinner and, uh, you know, after we had a good, uh, good healthy meal, that way it uh, <laughs> doesn't uh, give us any bad effects. Uh, but the whole idea was we just sampled different brands that were super popular in this area, uh, top brands as well as low grade uh, brands. And mostly, as far as the top brands go in this area, there are some local or some some favorites that are made in Texas, whatever. And so we just said, well, let's just kind of work with these. Now, the stereotype about vodka is that it kind of burns by itself. I mean, so people just kind of have to douse it with a lot of stuff, even put uh, make it into a Bloody Mary. Well, we wanted our product to be as smooth as possible, as close to zero burn as possible, so that someone someone if they're trying it for the first time then they're not automatically turned off. And for people who enjoy vodka already, then it kind of keeps us as an option if they want to try to change it up a little bit. Yeah. And so what we did was we just uh, tried different ones straight at room temperature and then also chilled. And then like you just said, uh, we like a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And then we took the smoothest one out of all these top comparisons and said, okay, let's take this to the next level is what we did. And that's how it came about, quite honestly. And w w what's the difference between having vodka at, at room temperature and chilled? Because it, it does taste different uh, yes, with, with many brands. Yes, sir. Well, most people, when they have a uh, any kind of a spirit, in, in most cases, even if it's just a straight uh, shot, then oftentimes they have it over ice anyway, mm -hmm. just to kind of help it uh, relax a little bit. But, you know, at room temperature, if uh, there are some people that uh, enjoy just – a small sip, you know, just straight out of the cabinet and leave it at that, then the more we can make that appealing than anything above that, chilled or mixed or whatever, is just a, a mere bonus. Uh, we try to make ours so smooth and palatable that they could easily enjoy it straight from the bottle if they so chose. How'd you get the name and how'd you get the label idea? You know, we uh, if, well, with all of our research, we uh, found that everybody, every marketing person said – just in perfect uh, consistency, make the label stand out. When people are just shopping around and they just don't know what to pick, the label has got to leap off the shelf at them. Mm -hmm. And there are so many ornate labels out there that it's like, well, it's kind of hard to 
uh, out pretty the next label. Right. So why not just make it as generic looking as possible? And so we just pretty much just uh, made it exactly that. We uh, made the script just as simple as possible. And when it comes to booze, well, that's just kind of just uh, too generic sounding. So we just thought we'd kind of amp it up a little bit and call it real booze. And then just kind of let people's mind play with it as they as they may. Yeah. And uh, you, you have, obviously, you have the regular vodka, but then also you have a different flavor. Yes, well, we have a lemon vodka. It is such an extreme lemon. It is not to replace uh, the fresh squeeze. You can never replace fresh squeeze lemon. But we have more lemon than any of our competitors out there. And uh, many, in fact, most, if not all, competitors out there in the lemon category, uh, they actually cut back on the alcohol content. And when I was bartending for nine years, then there were, uh, from time to time, complaints about how there's not enough alcohol in the product and for the most part when you mix something you can't really tell you know but sometimes we would get that so we kept our lemon at the same 40 percent alcohol as our original as well as many other brands so that uh, there's not going to be ever that complaint but we added way more lemon than any of our competitors so therefore if they it, it really is designed to be mixed but if they wanted to enjoy it as a, as a shot they can they might uh, feel it a little bit uh, tart yeah. um, but uh, they will feel it uh, in that aspect what, what was the 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 re- reasoning behind coming out with lemon because you, you see a lot of different mm-hmm. uh with spirits now everyone's coming out with different flavors yes sir. and and, yes, and sir. different th- going to different things whether it's you know whiskey wh- whatever it may be they're going to different flavors right what was it about lemon that stood you know, out for you uh primarily around here uh the chilton uh invented here in lubbock uh which is uh, quite simply a salted rim glass uh usually a tall glass over ice uh, which is vodka and club soda and a ton of lemon. And that's how we come up with our lemon. And, and then we even have our, our, uh, our, our own little unique name for a Chilton on the res- uh, as a recipe on the label itself. But we came up with that because at the, there's not really that many that, that have a lemon. I mean, they're out there. They're just, there's just not very many. Mm-hmm. But none of them had enough lemon for the average public. It was usually just a slight hint of lemon, uh, anything that's a, a citron or whatever the case may be. Because peop- uh, the, the, the manufacturers didn't want to get away from the vodka flavor. Well, Okay, great. But a lot of people, when they want something flavored, they want to taste that particular flavor. Right. And that's how we come up with that. Okay. And then, uh, so, but ours, just, to, uh, just to make one thing clear, our lemon is not to replace uh, any fresh squeezed lemon in a drink. If people want uh, just ours by itself with a club soda, great, or 7-Up, Cranberry, whatever. But uh, the whole idea was it just doesn't take nearly as much lemon as what people would normally put in their drink. Very cool. Uh, what is the uh, what does the future hold for for real booze? Vodka? Well, you know the, that's the neat uh, the neat thing. Uh, it could it's got a, a real promising uh, future, quite honestly. And it just depends on how much we can get word out, get people to to sample it, and almost without fail, when they try ours then they almost always prefer ours compared to any other brand, even though their budget may say otherwise. We are a premium product. They may be looking for something pretty inexpensive, and we can't fight against that. But uh, typically, if all we can get uh, do is get them to taste it, then we, we've got them pretty much locked in because they prefer ours uh, over any other since, since ours is so smooth. And we plan on coming up with uh, future products, and uh, as this thing uh, uh, becomes more consistent with sales, as well as uh, building our distillery here in Lubbock. Yeah. Uh, of course, Real Booze Vodka, uh, I, I had it recently. Very good vodka. Uh, mm-hmm. Big fan of it. Yes, sir. Uh, so I, I say congratulations. I think you've got a great product. Uh, where can people pick up a bottle if, you know, this weekend they're wanting to... Uh, you know, have some vodka. Absolutely. Well, uh, you can pick it up at all three main Pinkies liquor store locations uh, on 82nd, over by the mall, and over on 4th and Quaker. You can also pick it up at End Zone Liquor on 4th and Frankfurt and over on 9th Street over by Torchies. And then also on, on the east side over on, uh, uh, I believe it's Parkway Drive, uh, Blue Box Liquors. So that's where we are currently. And, of course, people can always call the favorite liquor store and request it. Uh, and uh, liquor stores be happy to pick it up uh, from there. Very cool. Well, uh, congratulations on it, and uh, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. All right. When we come back, we'll take your phone calls and uh, get back into Open Line Friday here on the Chad Hasty Show, News Talk 790 KFYO. Real booze vodka. Pick it up this weekend and try some.